installing the Dolphin emulator on Debian 12 is so easy that we're going to do it in real time. You are going to need root or sudoer access. apt search dolphin is a great way to find what you're looking for, and based on the description, dolphin-emu looks to be exactly what I'm looking for. Still in a shell with root or sudo access, you're going to enter apt install dolphin-emu. That command will be in the description. Just add sudo in front of it or run it in a root terminal. And moments later you'll be done and you could close out of your root terminal. Everything going forward here should be doable from user space. In a user terminal, running dolphin-emu will open the dolphin emulator as a sub-process of that terminal. Choose whether you wish to be included in usage statistics. I chose no. Everything's pretty user-friendly here, and I'm going to be remapping an Xbox 360 controller as a gamepad. When trying to map your gamepad, you might have to cycle through the drop-down menu until you find the actual connection for your controller. Once you do, be wary that the window to reassign keys to the buttons on your gamepad is relatively short. Mapping the controller is probably the most time-consuming thing about this entire process. If anyone catches the mistake that I've made, pause the video and leave me a comment about it. Playing with analog trigger settings for a bit, they don't seem to be locking to anything, so we're going to hope that it's not an issue and leave them clear for now, and we'll find out later. I also take time to test the rumble feature, which doesn't appear to be working. It could be a driver issue, it could be an issue with the controller itself. I don't know that I had the rumble feature working when this was plugged into Windows either. And frankly, I don't have a working Xbox 360 to test it with. Once you finish mapping out your controller, make sure to give it a memorable name and save your configuration because you don't want to have to do it again. If settings glitch, just load up the saved configuration file. It's a lot better than mapping it all again. I'm just going to drag and drop for now, but you are totally able to configure a home directory for where your legally acquired game ROMs are stored so that everything loads up as a library when you open up the emulator. And things seem to be running smoothly. There might be a little bit of screen tearing, but it's not that bad. Okay, in case you didn't catch the error earlier, I am currently discovering it, right now. And I end up loading up a different game, which I know works, in order to figure out what's wrong. Do you see what I did? If 
your answer was inverting my A and B buttons, A and X in the case of an Xbox controller, you'd be right. And after fixing that, everything works as intended. After a 5 minute unskippable sequence, the game is playable. I have switched the window into full screen mode, which continues recording off of the desktop display for OBS without any sort of issue. In order to escape from full screen mode, it is Alt and F3 by default. I hope this tutorial about the open source Dolphin emulator project was helpful for you. And as an added bonus, if you made it this far, going to Options, Configuration, Interface, and under the Render Window submenu, unchecking Show On Screen Display Messages should remove the yellow text pop-up when you're saving and loading files. <laughs> 